Sometimes multiple resistors are used in a circuit. In this case, we have two resistors R1 and R2 in parallel, and they are connected to a battery with voltage V. This one here is the equivalent circuit to that one, which means uh, if I put the two resistors in parallel in a black box and put this single equivalent resistor in another black box, everything outside the black boxes should look exactly the same. So if this battery pumps the current I, that battery should do the same, same current I. But this current comes over here, it would split to two currents, I1 and I2. So when resistors are in parallel like this, uh, they share the current. And because they are in parallel, they have the same voltage. This is very similar to the case for capacitors in parallel. If we have capacitors in parallel, the parallel capacitors would share the charges and uh, they would have the same voltage. For capacitors, we talk about the charges on the plates. And for resistors, we talk about the charge flow, which is the current. Because the two resistors have to share the current, that means that I equals to I1 plus I2. And since V equals to IR, the Ohm's law V equals to IR, that means that I equals to V over R. And this current is V divided by the equivalent resistance. And this is I1 equals to V divided by R1 and I2 is V divided by R2 because they, they all have the same voltage. We cancel the Vs, we get this uh, 1 over equivalent resistance equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And if there are more than two resistors in parallel, we just have to keep on adding them. So this is the equation for finding equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel. This also means that the more resistors we have in parallel, the smaller the equivalent resistance. So it's kind of like this. The resistance of a wire, rho times L over A. The more resistors we have in parallel, it's like uh, we have a thicker wire. The bigger the A, the smaller the resistance. So the more resistors we have in parallel, the smaller the equivalent. Here I have two resistors R1 and R2 in series, and the combination is connected to a battery with a voltage V. That one is the equivalent circuit. If I put these two in series in a black box, and the single equivalent resistor in another black box, everything outside the black box should look exactly the same. So if this battery pumps a current I, that battery should do exactly the same. And this current would flow through the R1 and keep flowing through R2. That means uh, if the two resistors are in series, they would have the same current. However, they would share the total voltage V. And this, again, is very similar to the case for capacitors in series. When we have capacitors in series, they would have the same charge, but they have to share the voltage. Again, for capacitors, we talk about the charges on the plate. And for resistors, we talked about the electric current, which is charge flow. So they are very similar. Because the two resistors have to share the voltage, that means the voltage V equals to V1 plus V2. And the V equals to IR, the voltage V is the current times the equivalent resistance. And the V1 is I times R1. V2 is I times R2. Since all the currents are the same, so this gives us the equivalent resistance equals to R1 plus R2. And if we have more than two resistors in series, we just have to keep on adding them. So this is the equation we would use to find the equivalent resistance when we have resistors in series. And this also tells us that the more resistors we have in series, the larger the equivalent, which is kind of like this. R equals to rho times L over A for a wire. When we have more resistors in series, it's like the wire is longer. 
the longer the wire, the larger the resistance. So the more resistors we have connected in series, the larger the equivalent resistance.